hello everybody. I hope you can hear me. Um, so thank you, Diana, for the nice uh, introduction. Um, I am indeed in the north of England where we have wonderful weather, by the way, today. So there you go. Uh, and uh, my research is indeed in personalization and adaptation of education uh, and in AI in general. And I work a lot with learning analytics. But today I want to talk to you about something slightly different. This uh, project we've been running last year and it's now drawing to a finish, uh, which is called TechUp. Uh, where, uh, can I have the next slide, please? Uh, where we're training 100 women in um, computer uh, science uh, who come from different backgrounds, who come uh, from what I like to call uh, underrepresented uh, communities, uh, underserved communities, actually. Um, and and uh, the reason being twofold. So on one hand, to help them to get into the uh, technology, uh, if, if this is what they want to do with their career. Uh, on the other hand, uh, the problem that you see on, on the slides here uh, is, is basically related to uh, the current need in industry and in technology in general. Uh, there's various statistics and some of them show there's actually a great need uh, of new people, especially in AI area, but in uh, technology in general. Um, and uh, again, there's a very, very uh, big shortage of women in computer science. So you see the stats, 16 uh, IT professionals, 16% uh, are women, and this is decreasing, str strangely enough. Uh, and 19% uh, of uh, students in computer science degrees are, wim uh, are women. So certainly in the UK, this looks, um, this picture looks uh, very bad. I know in Romania, it's slightly different. Uh, but uh, we are, we're trying to address this need here, but I think in other countries, especially in the West, it's, it's, uh, it's similar. Um, and uh, we can go to the next slide. Okay. Can we go to the next slide, please? Um, so, thank you. Uh, right, so this is our uh, leadership team, but we actually also have uh, four uh, university partners uh, that um, uh, are uh, together with us uh, in this uh, project. So we have Edge Hill, uh, University of Nottingham and University of York uh, near uh, next to University, uh, Dur Durham University. Um, and uh, can we have the next slide, please? And we have also a great number of companies. We have about 15 companies. We have actually a greater list that help with various uh, methods, but these are our main partners that you see here. Uh, and, and all of them are partners from our region. So we took uh, basic, basically in this particular project, a very regional approach of North and mid of England, mainly because again, this is slightly the, uh, the more underprivileged area in terms of uh, jobs and, and so forth. And we try to help this particular uh, region in particular, uh, in, uh, especially. Um, so can we have the next slide, please? The next slide, please. Thank you. <laughs> right. Uh, so here, uh, so we had 219 applications for our 100 uh, places. You can see also where they applied from uh, geographically uh, in England. Uh, the picture with the world is something else is about uh, when it started, how, how, uh, where we got our Twitters from. We, we're sort of uh, analyzing this whole thing on social media and all sorts of other, um, in all sorts of other ways. Uh, it had quite a, a big impact already and we're trying to uh, monitor this, uh, this impact. By the way, we didn't throw away the applicants that didn't make it. So the ones that were still eligible, we kept on a, wait, uh, on, on a list and we do inform them about various things that are for free so they can use those. Uh, and and we, can, we are also considering them for the next round. So we, we don't really throw away anybody. But we also had a, a lot of uh, mentors volunteering. So uh, we had a real one-to-one -one mentoring scheme. Um, we had four residentials where women were basically um, heard speeches uh, for motivation from various uh, very good uh, speakers. Um, can we have the next slide, please? Um, okay. The next slide, yeah. Um, yes, that one. Uh, so uh, here you can see uh, the kind of job roles we were preparing them from, uh, uh, for. Um, 
that these job roles weren't just picked out of uh, the blue sky, but basically what we did here was to discuss with our uh, indus industry uh, partners and talk with them about what kind of things they're looking for and then reverse engineered uh, what kind of things people need to, uh, to learn uh, to get in, uh, in these roles. And, and then again, when we created a program, we ran it past our industrial partners again to ensure that this is really uh, according to their needs. Uh, and we have uh, made a lot of changes just on the basis of, uh, of their feedback. Um, and, and we did also adjustments for, for the women in all sorts of ways. So can we have the next slide, please? Um, okay, I don't see it yet. <laughs> right. Yeah, I know, I know, it's a delay. Um, so uh, we, the whole project was a, a one-year project, uh, but the program itself for the women was six months online program, uh, besides those uh, residentials that I, I mentioned already. Uh, and uh, I mean, to some extent, everybody knows online learning and so forth is more flexible, and, and we have used this a lot, but we also mix it with this face-to-face -face part, uh, and we try to be extremely um, considerate of, of the various needs uh, of our women and trying to ensure uh, accessibility. So we came up as a result of this project and all the things we put in to, to enhance accessibility, uh, we came up with some best practices which now are introduced in, in, various, in various of our partner universities into their program because uh, they consider it such, such a good uh, uh, way of dealing with things. I mean, even uh, there's a small example, even on this slide, if you see on the left hand uh, side on the bottom, there's a little, uh, there's a little mark for a picture. So we, we were uh, careful with what can be uh, taken photo of and what can't be taken photo of. And we marked it specifically uh, for people. Uh, we did the same with participants. So they had different kind of badges, for instance, when they uh, came uh, on face-to-face -face, uh, meetings in residentials. They have different kind of badges if they wanted to be taken pictures of or not, and, and all sorts of things. Of course, we had um, various things like special buses and so forth for, with, for participants with uh, any kind of physical disability uh, and so on and so forth. So um, can we have the next slide, please? And uh, so th there's in the next slide, if... Uh, you get it soon, uh, you're gonna see a nice, uh, yeah, there we go, a nice picture uh, with uh, various activities we had during one of our uh, residentials. Um, and these are a few uh, remarks from our uh, uh, manager, project manager, uh, the, the kind of things she, she considered were very important to, uh, to keep tech up going uh, and basically uh, do a totally different type of, uh, of managing. Uh, can we have the next slide, please? Because that where, is where you're going to see a little bit about uh, our demographics and see that we really were addressing um, quite a, a big range, especially for the UK, uh, where your typical computer scientist is uh, white and male. Uh, you know, uh, we have had, as you can see here, 54% women of colors, uh, color, 46% women with disabilities, 40% women with dependents, uh, and 21% uh, with, uh, with various uh, LGBTQ uh, characteristics. Uh, and although we had the, our big, a big challenge uh, on our hands with, with people with, with, uh, with such a range uh, of different types of needs, uh, because of our very, very flexible approach, uh, we managed to, uh, you know, keep everybody happy as hopefully you will see if you can see the, the video uh, at the end. Uh, and uh, our, our general policy was that even small changes here and there could make a, uh, a big impact. I already told you about the one-to-one -one mentoring. We had um, uh, about um, 160 or more uh, people volunteering to be mentors from, our, uh, from within uh, the companies that were our partners, but also from beyond, from industry, from academia, and we managed to uh, match everybody based on their needs. Um, I think you're one slide <laughs> in front of what I'm saying here, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, and indeed, yes, we had uh, in the end 96% um, for uh, of uh, uh, retention rate, which is uh, amazing if you. Uh, 
consider that this is an online course. So I'm doing a lot, as I told you, of learning analytics as one of my research areas and learning analytics, uh, looking at MOOCs especially, which are the default online uh, course now, has a retention rate of about 10%, right? And we got 96%. So that's uh, quite amazing. And I think it's, it's a lot uh, to do with, uh, with our general approach. Um, so have a look at the next slide, please. Um, so these are a few uh, notes uh, in the next slide, if you see it uh, soon, uh, from uh, our project administrator. And uh, she was uh, also great help. We had a really good team, to be honest. Uh, and she was saying things like, it is not that difficult to attract all these people. Um, but uh, I think it, it's actually due to all her, her uh, good work and, and the, the rest of the team's good work. And the fact that we use modern media, we use social media a lot for all the uh, advertising to get people in, uh, to get people's help in. For, from, so for instance, from our mentors, we also use social media for getting more mentors. Um, so I think we, we were uh, really um, using modern technology uh, to, uh, in, in the best way to, to, to be able to support uh, our uh, um, participants. Um, there is a nice little saying, which I'm quite sure uh, you, you don't know because I, I never knew it before I came here in Durham. It's, uh, it's the last bullet point there. Shy, it's called shy bairns get nout. And what it actually means is that people who are shy uh, don't get anything. Right, so we uh, encouraged everybody to ask for help and we encouraged our participants to ask for help from each other, from their mentors, from us, um, make sure that uh, everybody's networking and, and we cover uh, their needs in various ways. And I think that's part of our general philosophy. Um, now a little bit about the future in the next slide. Um, no, the next slide is actually about also guiding principles that we had. Uh, can you put it up? Yes. Just for a short, uh, so this is again from, uh, from our project manager uh, and uh, uh, she put up this, this nice little acronym FLAME, Fairness Lead by Example, Adapt, Motivate and Empathy. I'm not going to talk uh, more about it uh, so much because I'm aware of the time and maybe you have questions, but I would like to tell you a bit about our next plans for the future. So can you have a look at uh, scaling the check up approach, um, which is the next slide. Okay, uh, yeah, we're on that slide. So uh, basically we have um, some uh, plans for the future. We have had quite some, as I said, media attention. We've had a, a minister for universities coming and talking to us. There's, uh, and specifically he, want, uh, he wanted to hear about tech up. Uh, there's, there's a lot of interest in, in various uh, regions in the UK of this. So we're ha hoping to get more funding. We're also the, the East, um, IOC, the Institute of Coding that funding, funded us, were kind of their pet project at the moment. So they would want to find us, fund us for the future. At the moment, however, they're themselves applying for funding. So we'll see. But basically, we, uh, and we have a bit of bridging funding to, to uh, get over this year. So there's good hope that we're going to continue to do this. We have big hopes. So one is, is to look at various other regional hubs because we did this specifically for the north and the mid of England, but we would like to, to do this for other areas. But also we're looking at specializing and these are a few ideas of specialization. So take up for the NHS. I don't know if you know about the NHS, but that's the wonderful health system we have here in the UK. Uh, and uh, technology uh, in general and data science and all sorts of these things are, are needed nowadays uh, in, in all these areas. So it's um, something that we're considering. Uh, take up teachers we're considering because again, uh, there's been a quite uh, some change in, in the curriculum, uh, in the teaching curriculum in, uh, in the UK, especially with respect to ICT, but uh, the teachers haven't yet caught up with everything that is required and asked from for, uh, them and it's really hard for them to, to deliver uh, on the expectations of the government. So um, that's why we consider them. Uh, veterans, we were also looking at the veterans and uh, the unemployed. Um, so these are just a few of our ideas. We have uh, a few others. Uh, and um, yeah, so you can see uh, one of the uh, nice little uh, pictures in the 
next slide from, uh, from one of our uh, do's at one of the residentials. Um, and after that, perhaps we can uh, put a, li a little bit of uh, a video of uh, check up women because I think it's best if you hear them speak for themselves instead of uh, listening to me telling you what, uh, what, they're, be what they're saying. Hi, I'm Luzel Alma. My name is Nushat. Hi, I'm Nina. Annie here from the Hero Works Institute. I'm Aisha Islam. My name is Edna. This is my baby girl. I'm 39, proud, gay parent. I have three children. Two grandchildren. I've been deaf since the age of four. I really want to join the programme because I'm on a mission to help women future-proof their careers. I've been very busy looking after my family. I've been unemployed and isolated also somehow. I always had a hidden aspiration for working in computing. The modules are like just what I need, practical and theoretical aspect to get me into this field. I've really always wanted to know what, what big data is, all about cyber security. I have to develop my skills to move my career forward. I want to do this not just for me, but for other girls and women. I want to be a change maker. And it sounds like a lot to be expected of us, which I love. So bring it on, I say. Fingers crossed. I hope you consider me. It will be an honour to be selected for the inaugural Tech Up Intake. Thanks for this opportunity. I hope you choose me. This has been nine months in the making. 200 women applying for 100 places. What we want is women with potential, and I think that's what we've got. We've ended up with a cohort of people who absolutely are ready for this opportunity and might not have been given it otherwise. Hi everyone and welcome to Tech Up Women! Woo! Doing this is not without its sacrifices. You are already amazing women for having taken this opportunity. We really want to change the way that people see women in tech. It's also about developing this community and helping each other. Meet like-minded people, being able to network. The speakers have been so passionate. They're really inspiring, really motivational. We've had coaching activities that I'd never have dreamed of. We've just been blown away by the diversity of the group. We look different, but we have the same aim. A hundred women who have all of these incredible skills and backgrounds. It's truly inspiring. TechUp was the perfect opportunity. It's incredible to just be a part of the journey that they're on. All of us are trying to encourage them to find their voice and to use their voice. Now I have an opportunity to improve myself, to showcase what I can do. It has given me the hope that it can happen. A whole hundred of them are our ambassadors for the future. A more capable group of women than I've ever met in my life. You know, I'd love to do this for thousands of women, not just a hundred women. We're looking at a big impact, so bring it on. <laughs> We, we still keep in touch with, with our uh, um, network that we've created. Uh, we, we use them also an, as ambassadors for the future. Uh, a lot of them have volunteered to do so. Um, they're, they're starting a lot of initiatives themselves. Uh, so I think that we uh, managed to cope them and, and uh, get them to, uh, to work together and work with us to, uh, to help other people in their uh, in their situation in the future.